Before you begin, you'll want to be sure you are completely ready to apply for the assessment. You will need to have purchased the Competency Standards Book, compiled your portfolio, completed your training hours, and your required hours of experience. Navigate to cdacouncil.org. Click on the green box called Your CDA Online Application System. Next, you will need to create an account. Click the green Create an Account button. Fill in your personal information. Be sure to use an email address you'll check often. Once in your personal dashboard, click CDA Initial Application. Click on Create a New CDA Application. The green boxes on the left side will show your progress. Click Save and Continue to Proceed. Next, verify your information, then click Save and Continue. Select your credential type, education level, and any special accommodations needed. In the Language Specialization area, select the language that you use when doing your daily work with children. Next, add your work experience and your training information. Review the summary of your pre-application and complete any area without a green check mark. You will need your director's email address and your PD Specialist ID number to move on. Your PD Specialist is the person who will visit your site to conduct an observation and review your professional portfolio. If you still need a PD Specialist to work with, be sure to visit the Council's website to use their PD Specialist Finder. Verify your profile, save, and continue, and ensure you have completed all the eligibility requirements by checking each box. Next, enter your director's information. Your director will need to verify that they are giving permission for your verification visit to take place at your program. While your director is verifying your information by email, you can continue on in your CDA application by entering your PD Specialist endorsement number. Now specify the language you will take the CDA exam in. Review your summary status and go back to complete any sections that don't have a green check mark. Then click Submit to confirm entries. This page is to notify you that you will need to contact Teach to coordinate payment, but don't stop just yet. Click Save and Continue before filling out your Teach application. Verify your application summary, then click Proceed to check out. Once you get to the Review and Payment page, stop and check your email. Within a few minutes, you will receive an email with the subject line CDA Application Payment Due Now. Print and save a copy of this email. You will need to attach it to your Teach Scholarship application. Now you are ready to begin your TEACH scholarship application. Go to miaeyc.org. Click on TEACH in the blue box. Then click the orange Apply for a Scholarship box. You have the option to print a PDF application to send to the TEACH office or the option to use the online scholarship application. Applying online will reduce application processing time. In the online application, you will need to upload a copy of your income verification such as a pay stub, DHS subsidy, or food program statement, and also a copy of the email you received titled CDA Application Payment Due Now. This has your customer ID number on it, which TEACH will use to authorize payment to the council on your behalf. Fill out each section of the scholarship application. You may save and resume later if necessary by clicking on the gray box at the bottom of the page. Complete the Educational Background Goals section and be sure to select No College. I am applying for the CDA assessment only. Indicate that you would like your scholarship begin immediately. Enter your employment information including your program name and license number. You will also need to verify your program's participation status in the Great Start to Quality Star Rating Program. If you don't know your program's license number or star rating participation, you can ask your director or look your program up at greatstarttoquality.org. Next, scroll down and select the CDA Assessment Scholarship option. You will be prompted to upload the copy of the email from the council called CDA Application Payment Due Now. You must also indicate the setting you are applying for. Enter and upload your income verification, then electronically sign and date the application. Your application will now be reviewed for acceptance. If you are accepted, you will receive a call from a Teach Scholarship counselor explaining the process. Your first task will be to sign and return your scholarship contract. Once that is received, you will be billed for 15% of the total assessment fee. If your program is star rated, Teach will apply a star rating stipend to your account which will more than cover your portion due. If your program is not star rated, you will need to pay your portion before TEACH will send payment to the council on your behalf. When TEACH authorizes payment to the council for you, you will receive another email from the council with the subject line, here is your CDA voucher code for payment. 
Log back into your CDA application portal and click on CDA Initial Application on the left-hand side of the screen. Click on Details on the right side to get back into your application. Now you can click on the green Checkout and Make Payment box. Enter the voucher number from your email in the Voucher Information area and click Process Payment. Teach will receive an invoice and pay for your full assessment fee in 7 to 10 days. When the payment is made, you will receive another email from the council called Ready to Schedule Notice. You are now ready to schedule your verification visit and CDA exam. Log back into your CDA application and click Exam Information. Use your CDA Council customer ID number with the letter C and number 0 in front of it as your Pearson View candidate ID number for exam registration. Click Schedule Your Exam. Now you'll need to contact Pearson View to set up a time and location to take the exam. You can find a test site on the Council's main webpage by clicking on Credentials, then find a test site. First, create a Pearson View account by clicking the blue box in the upper right corner of the screen. Use the Pearson View candidate ID number the Council emailed to you in your Ready to Schedule notice as Council ID to create your account. Select the CDA exam you are approved for and click Schedule Exam. You'll now see a list of locations and map. Select your desired location to take the exam. Choose your appointment time and proceed to checkout. Ensure you will make your appointment to avoid a cancellation fee and submit your order. Remember to bring identification with you to the test site. Once your exam is complete, Pearson View will automatically send your results to the council. Now go back to your CDA application portal and click on the verification visit information to schedule your PD specialist visit. Coordinate the date and time of your verification visit with both your director and PD specialist. Remember to bring your portfolio to the visit. Propose a date and time. Click Create and your PD specialist will receive your request. If you need to cancel or reschedule, use the Cancel PDS Selection or View Visit Details areas. Once your verification visit is complete, your PD specialist will submit your results to the Council. When your exam and verification visit results are in, a determination will be made by the Council for your CDA award. If awarded, you will receive a notification by email along with a temporary CDA certificate. Your official certificate will be mailed to you. Send a copy of your credential to teach to receive your scholarship bonus. Congratulations on taking the best first step toward advancing your practice and quality of care for young children.